of the answer to the question asked. You need to speak the answer out loud to set up a circuit of the language you are learning to speak so that it is heard and identified through your ears to help establish the sounds of the target language. Do this prior to hearing the confirmation, which is provided as reinforcement, as well as for additional speech training. Do all of the required activities according to the instructions, without reference to any outside persons, book, or course. Do not have a paper and pen nearby during the lessons, and do not refer to dictionaries or other books. The Pimsleur method works with the language learning portion of your brain, requiring language to be processed in its spoken form. Not only will you interrupt the learning process if you attempt to write the words that you hear, but you will also begin to speak the target language with an American accent. This is because the sounds represented by the American letters are different from the same looking letters from the foreign language. Dr. Paul Pimsler and his unique method. Dr. Paul Pimsler devoted his life to language teaching and testing and was one of the world's leading experts in applied linguistics. He was fluent in French, good in German, and had a working knowledge of Italian, Russian, modern Greek, and Mandarin Chinese. After obtaining his Ph.D. in French and a master's in psychology from Columbia University, he taught French phonetics and linguistics at UCLA. He later became professor of Romance Languages and Language Education and Director of the Listening Center at The Ohio State University, Professor of Education and Romance Languages at the State University of New York at Albany, and a Fulbright Lecturer at the University of Heidelberg. He did research on the psychology of language learning and in 1969 was Section Head of Psychology of Second Language Learning at the International Congress of Applied Linguistics. Dr. Pimsler was a member of the American Association of Teachers of French, American Educational Research Association, and Modern Language Association, and a founding member of the American Council on the Teaching of Foreign Languages. His many books and articles revolutionized theories of language learning and teaching. After years of experience and research, Dr. Pimsler developed a new method that is based on two key principles the principle of anticipation, and a scientific principle of memory training that he called graduated interval recall. This method has been applied to the many levels and languages of the Pimsleur programs. Graduated Interval Recall The term graduated interval recall is a complex name for a very simple theory about memory. No aspect of learning a foreign language is more important than memory. Yet before Dr. Pimsler, no one had explored more effective ways for building language memory. In his research, Dr. Pimsler discovered how long students remembered new information and at what intervals they needed to be reminded of it. If reminded too soon or too late, they failed to retain the information. This discovery enabled him to create a schedule of exactly when and how the information should be reintroduced. Suppose you have learned a new word. You tell yourself to remember it. However, after five minutes, you're unable to recall it. If you'd been reminded of it after five seconds, you probably would have remembered it for maybe a minute, at which time you would have needed another reminder. Each time you are reminded, you remember the word longer than you did the time before. The intervals between reminders become longer and longer until you eventually remember the word without being reminded at all. This program is carefully designed to remind you of new information at the exact intervals where maximum retention takes place. Each time your memory begins to fade, you will be asked to recall the word. The Principle of Anticipation The principle of anticipation requires you to anticipate a correct answer. Practically, what this means is that you must retrieve the answer from what you have learned earlier in the course. It works by posing a question, asking you to provide a new sentence, using information you've learned previously, and putting it into a new combination. This provides novelty.